Welcome viewers. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important topic of automation testing that is knowing the automation testing from the general perspective, knowing the do's and don'ts, right? And as I mentioned in my first video of the playlist or rather the previous video of the playlist, that is before going into the technical stuff, we are going to talk about the automation testing perspective in general so as to understand the relevance of automation testing, right? So let me straight away go to the topics that we'll be discussing. Uh, you can see the list of all the topics that are here. I'm not going to say them right now because I'm going to repeat the details of each and every topic in the subsequent minutes. So let's straight away jump on to the first one. That is what slash why of automation testing, right? So let me go to that. As you can see in what it says, test automation refers to the practice of using software tools and scripts to automate the execution of tests in QA process or quality assurance process. All in all, your test cases that you are executing manually when they are being executed by a machine, that is when automation happens. And that is referred to as test automation, automation testing, right? Then the next question arises, that is why? Why was the need of automation? It is self-explanatory. A lot of things have been automated in the past. A lot of things are being worked upon for the automation in current and in future times to save time, to save resources, right? So the three pointers that I can mention here are repeated test executions can be avoided. That is, uh, when you have to execute a couple of test cases again and again in each and every sprint, that can be avoided by human interaction and instead replaced by a machine that saves a lot of time and a lot of resources. Then secondly, increased coverage because if you have uh, I mean, if, if the manual effort for execution of the same tests can be avoided, then that time can be utilized to work on designing more test cases, thinking of more test cases. Then thirdly, faster test executions reduce manual effort. That is, that is very obvious because when the machine is uh, executing the test cases and when they are run, being, being run parallelly, that is when the machine ha will handle multiple test cases parallelly and thus saving time, right? So these are some pointers related to why of test automation, right? Now let's go on to the next section. Next section talks about feasibility analysis. That is feasibility means that not every project can be automated. Rather, every project can be automated. But you uh, talking from the ROI perspective, does it make sense to automate that project? Does it make sense to deploy your resources to automate those test cases, right? So on what parameters is that is that decided is Number one, long term engagements. That is, if a project is going to be for preferably for more than six months or, you know, practically for more than three months also works, then it makes sense to automate because you are going to uh, rerun those test routes after every sprint. So in, in that duration, you can automate the previous test cases to make sure that no other bugs are being introduced due to new development. Number two, stable applications. This is very important because if an application is bound to change each and every week, I mean, I mean if, if a proper agile methodology process is not being followed and if there are a lot of changes frequently, then that might hamper your test scripts and you might encounter false failures. Number three, frequent deployment cycles, thus easing regression. That is, if uh, the process be, is being followed properly and if let's suppose if out of three months there are there are three releases of one one month right so after one month when the second uh, and and you know uh, after one month you have automated this test cases then in the second release whenever the deployment happens for the new functionalities you can simply go ahead and run the test suit of the first month and save a lot of manual effort and make sure that no new bugs have been introduced due to the new development happened right I hope you are clear till here. This might be a bit tricky to understand. So if you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know via comments. And a question for you. When I say that uh, uh, st stable applications are very important because they might create some trouble if, if, if the applications are not stable, can you tell me what can be one of the major reasons for the applications being unstable or being or changing each and every day? This is a question for you. Now. Let's go on to the next section. It says preferred testing types for automation. That is, uh, as you might be knowing, and if you don't know, please go ahead and Google that there are n number of uh, testing types, right? Uh, a couple of which are happy path, smoke, sanity, regression, 
and and numerous others so uh, not all testing types should be automated the mentioned list is one of the most frequently automated testing types right and if you want to know more about such uh the details of such testing types please go ahead and have a look at the videos on our channel we are we have explained all of these in detail right now let me go to the next section that is the process so basically the process stands for that if you are implementing an automation project what is the process that you should follow right right from the start up till the end so first of all you should work on finalization of automation scope that is if there are 100 test cases you should go ahead and identify which test cases are to be automated secondly you need to go ahead and make a tool selection that is uh, you have to select a tool which will be used for automation then test case development this comes into the technical or in the coding part that you have to go ahead and uh, automate the test cases or the test steps then of course perform test executions and issue logging that is you have to make sure that your test case is scripted or developed are executed and you encounter genuine valid issues and log them and of course updates because uh, it's an agile methodology the changes might keep on coming on of course in a proper manner in that case you have to go ahead and make the updates as well right so that is that comes under the maintenance part that is all you need to know about the process right now now let's go to the next section that is a few automation tools see this is uh, i mean i i would i won't say that the this particular slide contains all the tools you need to know but these are a couple of famous tools that are being used for test automation that is prover context qa selenium web driver uft or apm but uh, of course uh, in this tutorial or in this entire course we are going to focus only on selenium web driver and in subsequent or in coming times i'll be making more videos on context qr prover as well right so that's all and i hope that you did get a flavor of our test automation you did get the understanding of what is the power of test automation because that this is very critical for you to know in order to go ahead and learn automation technically as well right of course in case of any queries any questions please feel free to comment and we promise to get back to you within 24 hours thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video